So welcome back to my Eagle PCB design tutorial. So I am resuming the tutorial after one year later. So I think that um, I'm, I'm planning to actually complete the whole tutorial by this time. And in the previous video, I have demonstrated how we can design ground plane in, um, in a two layer PC for the top, la uh, top layer. So as I'm designing a two layer PCB in this video, I will show you how we can actually design ground plane for bottom layer as well. Because I have, uh, I have got a good response on how to design a ground plane. So I thought that, okay, it is better to demonstrate um, again how we can apply the same technique for the bottom layer. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the PCB we have completed uh, in last video. And we have also learned how to design a ground plane for the top layer. and But we cannot see the um, top layer ground plane. Um, when I have just opened the uh, design in my eagle. So to see the actually uh, whole design, I have to press the restness button. So this will actually bring all the uh, layers related to the eagle PCB. So we can see that we have um, completed the ground plane for the top layer and I have also described the what is the advantage of ground plane in the case of um, PCB design. So now I will demonstrate how we can apply the same uh, for the uh, bottom layer because in a two layer PCB we have to design ground plane for the top layer as well as bottom layer so that we can route the ground plane through the bottom layer where it is impossible to route the ground I mean ground I mean impossible to connect some component through the top layer okay so let's get started so to actually get to actually start the ground plane designing I will start with the tool polygon tool so let's grab the polygon tool okay and after that we can see that actually if I start uh, drawing the ground plane, it will actually start in the top layer. So I have to change this. So to change this, I have to go this, I mean go in the select layer button. You can see that actually select layer menu. So from the select layer menu, I will select the bottom, right? And after that for ground plane um, uh, design, so we will select the turning uh, point as a right 90 degree so that we can actually um, capture the edges properly. And I also have to see the parameters for the top layer ground plane. So, okay, let's escape this so that I can see the parameter for the top layer ground plane so that I can apply the same technique for the bottom layer. Okay, to see this, we have to go into the move tool and after that I have to right click on the bottom layer ground plane and I can see from the properties that this is the properties for the bottom layer, uh, sorry, top layer ground plane and width was 12. And after that spacing was 50, isolate was 12. So I will use the same parameter for the bottom layer ground plane. Okay. So we have to remember this 1250. Okay. So again, I will select the polygon tool and I will start from a corner. And also this point is important. We have to select the bottom layer to actually design the ground plane for the bottom layer. And I will actually turn my um, polygon in this place. And I will click on the third corner. And I will start again from this corner. And last time I described forcefully that this is the important why we are connecting our ground plane in point. So you can see that the first point and last point of the ground plane actually have to be the same point so that my Eagle PCB considered that, okay, this is a complete boundary for a ground plane. So this is very important. Okay, let me show you. First point, starting point and end point should be the same point so that PCB can understand that this is the ground plane because this is the important point okay we have to remember that and after clicking this point we will see there is a pop-up box which will ask that what is the name for this signal so i will put z and d and after that okay after that when i will click the restless button i will see that there is a ground plane in both side top side and both bottom side okay so actually, if I just click on top layer, I will see the component from top. And if I click component for the bottom layer, I will see the bottom layer ground plane, see? And I can actually visualize from the top layer. You can see that in the top layer, 
the ground plane color is red in the bottom layer the ground plane color is blue you can see that so this is completely visible from the video okay so in the next video i will demonstrate you how we can actually connect top layer and bottom layer because there should be a connection because we know that that the top layer ground plane is red bottom layer ground plane is blue but the main goal of the ground plane is to actually um, increase the conducting surface also it will work as a heat dissipation surface we have described before so we need to know how we can connect top layer and bottom layer ground plane in good way okay i'll do in the next video okay thank you for watching